I'm looking at a possible drug for Alzheimer's disease. The interesting thing about this drug is that it's actually already found in your brain, but when you get older or when you get Alzheimer's, the levels drop hugely. So what we want to do is to be able to put it back in because we know it's good to be in there. The only thing is that we don't know how it works or what it actually does in the brain. So I'm looking at how it affects protein synthesis. And protein synthesis is what happens normally in the cell. It's the production of molecules which do the work of the cell. But they can do good things or they can do bad things. So we need to understand what our drug's actually doing in order to consider it as a possible treatment. I uh, went over to Germany to learn a new technique which lets you actually look at protein synthesis happening in the cell. So normally your cell in this condition is just sitting around. It might have um, a few examples of protein synthesis, but when we put this drug on, it really it lights up. It's like the sun going down at the end of the day and the stars popping up. It's very, very pretty to look at. <laughs> Alzheimer's, as you know, is a horrific problem and it's just going to get worse with the, the baby boom generation ageing. Um, so I think it's really critical for us to really start considering some options for drugs. Nothing's worked so far, so this might be the breakthrough we're looking for.